Hello, good evening, good evening, good evening, and welcome. Welcome to Kayaking Fortison's channel. Um, I'm just showing you off the latest build of Biodome. Um, I'm just quickly landing. There's been so many requests to try and get this thing operational for 0.21, and I finally managed to get it working. And we're nearly landed. around the new 0.21 base. So here we are. I haven't really done much in the way of anything to the dome itself. Um, I've just managed to just get it operational in 0.21. And I've changed a few things. I mean, I don't think you noticed, but Dan Robotics is basically dead. So I've changed the rotor arms and the uh, flip down doors for just animations now. Everything in this now is dot any, there's no DAEs left. Because uh, when you try and put a DA in, it'll uh, um, there won't be any no gliders and it won't be very usable. But I want to show you my most impressive uh, bit of coding I've done to date, which is the uh, quote unquote Genesis device. Yes, that's right, I've managed to make a life cycle. having a chat in sewer ants a long time ago about trying to simulate life itself. And is it the next fall down we have it? I think so. Let's have a look. I should have a fly to it, it seems I'm on the moon. do a bit of time lapse. Have a look at this. You see that? They're growing. I think I've got batches of them actually. Don't know if you can see that. But yeah, over slowly over time my my plants will actually grow on the dome. So it means you know while you're stuck here on the moon uh, well, you could always grow more plants. And I've managed to make an ingenious bit of code so that, uh, for now, once the plants reach the end of their life cycles, so you've got your watermelons, they die, and then they get replanted again, and then the cycle repeats. So they die, they're, they're, they're all together, and then they get replanted again, like that, and then the whole cycle repeats over and over again. And I'll show you, like, on really fast mode. What do you think of that? Bit of time lapse there. Constantly growing. Okay, enough plant growing. Uh, the next thing I want to show you is um, some of the improvements I've made to uh, the lift, obviously, that you've seen. Going up. Notice that now the actual lift actually, you know, you can clearly see the landing area. And I decided to have a lip around it because on, if you've seen some of my previous videos, when I tried to land Starbug, um, he kept sliding off the elevator because the moon's never quite perfectly flat. But having this lip around it means that if she does land, uh, the lip catches her. Catches the any well any ship that you try to land actually on top of it. You know, trying to land a ship inside another ship, I think I'm, I'm the only person crazy enough to even attempt it. And then you know, the gas uh, depressurizes. I will notice that now there isn't a massive gap around the back here. That everything's like perfectly airtight now. And then this one opens up. Uh, I haven't done the uh, airlock cycling sequence. There were too many complaints about the quote unquote uh, dead crack core video. But I'll show you the ramp that I've, I've worked on. So I've got these hydraulic um, pistons that come down. 
just like a drawbridge. And then that comes down like that. And then the colony ramp comes out. And she flips down like so. And then if I go back to my Kerbal now. I'll fly down to the uh, airlock bay. that you know now you've got a, a ramp that you can well you can take any sort of rovers or mining carts or anything you want in this giant bay here Here's the Dane. Anyway, she's now ready for download, so if you want to have a go on the latest alpha of my biodome, you're more than welcome to. Thanks very much for watching, it's been a lot of work. In fact, dare I say it's been... I've worked eight months of my life on this, and this is where we are today. Uh, over the next few days I'm going to be getting the fusion reactor and the airlock cycler for the mining bay working. Uh, trying to see if I can get docking, proper docking inside there working with that as well. Um, maybe some more plants. I've heard requests for a sunflower to be made soon. Please feel free to give us some suggestions, my dears. Um, and also, now that you can download the latest version of Biodome, if you find any bugs, don't please don't hesitate to tell me what the bugs are. <laughs>